Wow. Magic Online. You know what? <laughs> I literally just said in chat, if I can open Jockalops early enough, I'm really tempted to take it. And then the thing I said after that was, watch, I'm just going to open it in the next pack when we draft. And here it is. I bet this Liliana comes back. She always comes back. So the goal with Jockalops, in my in my opinion, is that I think you want to... It gets rid of artifacts, creatures, and lands. So you want to just have Planeswalkers. You want to have a bunch of Planeswalkers. And then you want to kill everything. And that's fun. So Ugin is probably one of the best Planeswalkers you can have. Plus it leaves us open for like... Channeling? I really like Fury though. Fury overperforms... I think Fury is very good. Uh, geez. Yeah, this is a sign, so I just took it. Although I wish I had the old bordered uh, Ice Age art, but, you know, what can you do? Since, since it ramps into the hops. Is it Ugin or is it Fury? Was I cursing? Sam, did I curse? I'm sorry, but my, I'm so sorry about your ears, Sammy. Sammy, I'm sorry. Oh, God, I really don't know what to take. Ugin is such a game winner, but I'm going to... Mm, but Fury is on... Mm, but Fury dies to Jockalops. Have you ever thought of that? Think about it. Garrick also ramps us into the hops. Yeah, I'd rather be two colors here. Stomping... Actually, if we take Stomping on Garrick might come back, but... That's not a thing I really want to risk. And then they're like, here's a Consecrated Sphinx, you stupid idiot. It's your favorite card. So why don't you take it? And then there's also Archon of Cruelty, which I love as well. I think it might just be Sakura Tri-Builder. Actually, a Braid's probably... <sighs> it's got to be Tri-Builder, right? We're ramping into Jockle Hops. And then we can take this guy. Guys, I, I don't make any claims that this deck is going to do anything cool. And I feel like when I say that, I kind of absolve myself of any kind of responsibility, right? Like, I don't want to... I, I don't want to feel shitty when I lose. So if I say this, I'm always saying it to myself. Like, hey, this deck might not do great. And that's okay. And then we'll take a Grist. And now we're going to play Jundle Hops. You know? Jundle jundle hops I do I claim it will be cool okay you look at the top card you play lands from the top of your library Thank this you. card's good right oh my god Sammy with the resub I appreciate you buddy I hope you're doing well it's either acidic slime or it's auger tribe elder dies to buddy tribe elder died a long time ago dang it Island Mountain Plains. Kaito Shizuki is kind of cool. Okay, so here's... Dang it. I have a stipulation for five color, but I think it's for friggin' not the plague. Yep. And I just told him we would wait to do it. How about Plow Under? If we Plow Under, then Jockalops, then we're just giving them two lands, right? But maybe they don't draw them at the same time. And both of these came back. That is... I don't get it. I guess I'll take Liliana. Ashiok? I don't know, man. I'll take Liliana. She's on color. She's what we're trying to do. Here's an, Els here's an Elspeth as well. I like Nyssa. Do I like Black Cleave Cliffs more? Uh, probably. No, I don't. <laughs> I definitely don't. And Nebraska. All right. This is the dream realized, guys. Eh, Takanuma. Whatever. Oh, wow. That's cool. We have a lot of three drops now.
Wish Claw Talisman. It gets hops. The opponent can't use it because you get hops. <laughs> That's a good point. I like Rakdos Signet. See, the thing is, like, you're getting all these Signets that are just going to die to the hops, but on the other hand, they ramp you to the hops, you know? I kind of like Hexdrinker. Does Hexdrinker survive the hops? I don't think so. Because it's not targeted, right? That's true. He has drafted no more red cards. <laughs> that is a true statement. I do think it's Signet here. Overgrown Tomb? Hmm, that's nice. Especially considering this... Uh, <laughs> Eclectic amount of cards. Nothing survives the hops except for you. Hmm. Fascinating. Wandering Emperor. Yeah, nothing else here is what we want. Ulamog Infinite Gyre, huh? Do we just hope to hit a channel because no one respects it whatsoever? Actually, Whisperwood's not bad, right? You sacrifice it, and then they kill, then they die, and all your creatures become... Yeah, let's take Whisperwood. That guy seems like he was made for the hops. We've already passed Natural Order, so I don't think I care about Crater Hoof. And he's Duretti the play? Could be Shriek Maw. Yeah, let's take the Duretti. It gets us to the hops, you know? And that's important. Yeah, Garrick Relentless. It's a hop survivor. What are you? Abzan? No thanks. We love the hops. We love the hops. Does it just duress? Duress is good. I don't care about Utopia Sprawl. It's just going to die. Crox is decent. I'll just take you two. They'll take the duress. Maelstrom. Is it Devoted Druid? Devoted Druid ramps us pretty quick, but we still need time to get the guys down. We still need time to get creatures and planeswalkers down before we hops. <laughs> Reach so you can get the two mountains out of your deck. Solid. Uh, I'll just take Zealous Conscripts. I think it's probably better, just in general. Also, Thrag Tusk is great with hops, because you know why. I want to take Ulamog for the same reason I was going to take the other Ulamog. Sacrifice a land search over for land and put it on the battlefield tap. It gets plus two as long as there are three more. This, this guy's actually great after a hops. God, how many times can I say hops in one stream? Mills three cards. You return a land card from your graveyard to your hand. Destroy a non-creature, non-land permanent with value two or less. Negative three, negative one. Or... That's, that's, that's so unexciting. Did we not take the Kodama's Reach again? Did I pass it for something? I think I passed it for Duretti, but it came back, so that's cool. Nurturing Peatland. That's nice. Venger? I mean, I'm actually getting like a decent rampy mid range deck here anyway, so. But Siju's fine. <laughs> wow. That's kind of cool. I'm just going to let it auto-pick because I don't want to double-click on it, have it auto-select halfway through, and then I accidentally select, like, something else that's not good. I hope what I just said makes sense. <laughs> Here's a Karn. Ignoble Hierarch is interesting. I 
I think we take the Karn. I bet Ignoble Hierarch comes back. I think Karn into Hops is just too good to ignore. I mean, Wall of Roots seems fine, right? Oh, Minskin Boo. Oh my god, I almost passed a Minskin Boo. That's hilarious. That's exactly... Oh my god. I feel so stupid. <laughs> if I can't play Joggle Hops, does this uh, survive because it has hex proof? Meh. I guess it's verdant and we hope for like uh, a red green land. Monsonstra, I'm so sorry, buddy. Oracle. Oh, yeah, here we go. Zeotaurus Brewing on. Perfect. The exact one we want. Let me make sure I've looked at every card in here. Oracle's great, but I'd rather have the fetch land with the Verdant Catacomb. So that's that. This is also a mountain forest. And this is a, um, you know, the other things. You know what it is. Mountain Swamp, Mountain Forest. I mean, we can take this. I think this is probably better. We want the black and the red. We're going to have a lot of forests. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, Nissa. Nissa gets worse when you kill all the lands, right? <laughs> like, both of her abilities are just not great at that point. That's actually kind of funny. I'm just going to take this stupid idiot. Birds of Paradise. Also Raging Ring. We're just going to take the birds. Oh, an Emrakul. And is it possible there's a last pick, like a channel? I don't know. So I should have 38 cards. This is 25 plus 12. So this is... Mm. Yep, this is the last pack. <laughs> I think it's still to Emrakul for funsies. Yep, okay. So, Questing Beast is just a beater. Ignoble did not come back, interestingly enough. That's true. If you alter your forest, you do have indestructible. A valid point. <sighs> Take Savannah. Actually, Hazaret's indestructible. Wait. Is it all hands? She's gone now. I'm just going to take this. Deranged. Well, we have several ways to splash white. Savannah, Triome. We can play one forest. We have birds, tribe elder. I'll just take showdown. If we end up playing something like that. We also have um, Night of Autumn as well. This deck is interesting, that's for sure. What lands are going in? You, 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 Savannah, maybe? We can get it with Verdant Catacomb. 
Oh, we have an Ulamog and an Emrakul, but no way to really get them into play, unfortunately. So this is 25 cards. Elvish Reclaimer seems good. Artifacts, creatures, and lands. God, so many things. But then we also have Plow Under and Acidic Slime to mess them up a little bit. Actually, I think it's just I think it's just zealous conscripts into ready. Conscripts is great, but we don't have any real like if if there's something we can take and really benefit from. But I think this is probably the deck. How many planeswalkers do you have? Kind of one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. I think this seems fine. We also can splash Savannah in Night of Autumn if we need that. Oh yeah, <laughs> very little black, very little red. Uh, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. That's too many. Let's go down to 10. Um, then one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's get seven there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Did I count this? Eight. Three, four, five, six, seven. Let's say eight here, I guess. And maybe two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is eight, eight, eleven. Which I think is okay. Let's do it. Oh, we have a Takanuma too. That's an easy inclusion. It's literally just a swamp. Watch, there's gonna be a time where we wanna get two swamps with Kodama's reach and we just can't. We love the funk. We love the funk. Yokel Hops. I disagree. Hops is for the elite intelligentsia only. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to brag, but, you know. Yeah, this is something. Pulse Guy, I have no idea if this is a good deck. We're going to find out, though. Oh, that's a hand. That's a turn two Reacher. You guys ever been reaching? I mean, also our deck is just kind of a cool ramp deck as well. If we get hops, cool. Oh, I see. Oh man, look at you. Look at you go. Look at you having a having a day. Oh, I should have restarted after because now it's like I'm getting that that sweet lag. Oh, which one's choose a card to put onto the battlefield. I want the black. What? Done. Okay. That's weird. So next time we can go Garrick into Savai Triome and then untap into Rest. That seems good. Let's do that. You know, 
barring nothing else. Oh, they're just getting in there. Actually, maybe we just play the rest first to make sure this resolves. You know? We don't need the, the Savai Trimon to be in play that badly, especially when we can just cycle it. We're going to have seven mana without it, so. They're really thinking about it. I will mana leak. If they mana leak, I might just pay. No, maybe not, because they only have three cards in hand. The odds of them having a... That's a tricky question, I guess. Because if they don't have anything good, then we waste our turn. If they do have something good... We get it. Either way, they're really, really taking their time here. What's the hold up here? What's going on? Okay, sorry about that. They came back, we took Recurring Nightmare, and they have Ashen Rider Mountain Mountain in hand. One, two. Get beastin'. Maybe they're building a DRL algorithm to decide if they should concede or let you see their hand. Yeah, I, I mean, that's what a lot of people do, I think. They just build the algorithm and then, you know, they that's how they decide. Totally normal. Oh boy. This is gonna be a pleasant this is gonna be a pleasant match, I'm sure. Simic Signet. Okay, so we know your hand is Mountain Ashen Rider that you could never cast. We love the funk. We love the funk. Let's get in there. Can you even multi queue? I don't even know if you can multi queue anymore. had to consult chat gpt he wrote in every card that i have and every card that he has and he's like tell me if it's if it's worth doing anything here and they, they couldn't do anything anyway so oh biggest city huh Untap green, black. I'm going to take him off black. Black seems like a good color for him. I don't actually even, I don't even know if I want hops here. I feel like maybe I do. I mean, we just get, we just get to keep a Garrick, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. 
We keep Garrick, make a beast, make a beast. What in the earth is happening? Get, get Gary. Did they play? Yeah, they played this, so we know their their hand is Ashen Rider. Got it. You got it. Gary survives. Mega Beast. Play this Devoted Druid. Play this land. Pass the turn. Mana Vault. Okay. Seems good. Ooh, Wispy. Whisperino. Well, we get to kill their Garrick now. That's that's cool. How much mana do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. God, we're so close to just casting Emrakul, you know? RDM, happy to see you, buddy. One, two, three, four, five, what's the... You ready for the Jockalops to be right underneath this? Here we go. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> I don't understand. Fucking how, dude? <laughs> how? What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus God. How is that real? I predicted we were gonna open hops. I'm like watching we're gonna open hops now and I have to build around it. We took it. And then we open the friggin' and then it, of course the first card is hops after I predict that. How is that even possible? <sighs> Holy biscuits. Okay, we're gonna add Savannah. Take out a forest. We're gonna add one basic this guy. Take out a forest. Uh we're gonna bring in Knight because they had a ton of things take out plow under they have a lot of ramp yeah I, I agree questing beast seems good it was also a contender of things to bring in maybe take out the Vraska I kind of like showdown too but I don't know we, we could just be good against them one might say hops won the game there one might we got the hops in hand, but we have like no ramp whatsoever. We also have, oh. they mulligan. You know what? Shoot, I'll keep it. I'll duress you turn one. And if we get any green source, getting Augur of Autumn online is pretty good. Their deck seems very duressable. You got it. What? Guys, Joggle Hops won the game. <laughs> Unbelievable. Fantastic. Okay. That that emote is hilarious. <laughs> wow. That is something right there.
Do you guys remember when I uh, hit Jogglehops off the top with Whisperoid Elemental? And then the dream was dying. Pepperidge Farm remembers. It is from a Barbie movie. <laughs> of course it is. Oh, we did it. There's like this weird blink it does whenever it's whenever it's ready. Yep, let's do it. Deal. Snap it off. Oh yeah, look how look how much smoother it's it. Look at this. It's so funny, dude. It's like the it's like once Daybreak Games took over, it's like, hey, we're gonna we're gonna put the lag the the memory leak back. Oh, I don't know why you do that, but I guess if you want to. Yeah. We kinda want to. Garuki Maduki. <laughs> that's funny because I said dookie. You know, that's just that's just comical. Okay. So now we're just living our best lives here, right? Which Garrick is it? It's this Garrick. Because next turn we can play Karn. Obviously. Fascinating. Fascinating. I am fascinated. You have piqued my fascination. Get that thing. Where'd your red go? <laughs> that wasn't very nice. Two, three, four. Well, we can't play two things. So I guess we'll just play Garrick and make some make some wolves. I mean, it comes down to like having Garrick this turn or maybe having Karn next turn if Devoted Druid survives. That's what it, those are your questions. And I think having Garrick this turn guaranteed felt better to me. See, Devoted Druid would not have survived. Oh, he basically traded a bird and an acidic slime for a damnation because the wolf was free. And the acidic slime took out a land, so that was also kind of free. So basically they traded a bird for a damnation. How about getting a mountain? Yeah, that's like mountains. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Untap. Seven. Carnino. We'll just steal a card from your hand here. What do we get? Faithless Looty Tooties. Is this what it feels like to live the dream? Watch, we're going to top deck Jockalops. It's going to be amazing. Then we're going to cast it. I'm ready. My body is ready. Toxic Deluge for two. Sounds good. God, we're spending so much mana to just kill our stupid tokens. Okay.
oh, we're just going to win the game. That sounds good. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what they have. I have no idea. We saw Damnation, Toxic Deluge. Incinerate? Was it Incinerate? Buddy, I don't know. I think, again, Questing Beast is pretty good here, though. What do you think? Take out the Reclaimer. Do we have anything that deals with any sort of random age strategy? Not really. Conscripts could be good. I'd like to see more. Because also Jockalops takes care of that bullshit. They'd be looting with no faith behind it. It's true. Guys, look, we did it. I will keep. They mulligan to six? They mulligan to five? Are they just going to concede again like our, our last opponent? Is this going to be the easiest Jockal Hops draft we've ever done? Hard to say. Hard to say. Magda. Magda. Come on, we can do it. Does she get a... She just gets a treasure? That's good. That's juicy. They didn't do anything else, though. I'm confused. Green, black, pop, skibby, doo, 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 doo. So what we'd like is a four drop. Ah! Look at that. That's beautiful. I was going to say a Planeswalker, preferably. Because then we can go Garrick into Thragtusk into Hoppies. All right. Interesting. Oh, they discarded Masker Worm to get that back. Okay. Oh, now they're just going to get back Masker Worm. That is a thing. Well, now our Garrick is worse. So, if we play Garrick, we make a beast. We block here, Garrick still takes two. But, I mean, that seems better than just taking eight, right? Next turn we can Thrag Test, gain some life back, and then we can Jockle Hops with nothing. That seems worse. Maybe they don't even go for the Garrick. Who knows? Who knows? Who can say? They have three cards. God, I was so excited about the Garrick until they literally bone shards. And it... What? No. No. No, you didn't. What? No. Fucking amazing, dude. Wow. That was so satisfying. And we would have gotten to play our land. And we just get a Garrick forever. That was so satisfying. Man, I'm so glad we had that conversation about Jockle Hops. Holy crap. Hops. <laughs> oh, yeah. Send them on down to Rat Train. Have you ever been outside and got to call on the red trick? Guys, we're 2-0 <laughs> with this Joggle Hobbs deck. Uh... 
I'm like, man. Oh my god. Team J bro. Oh my god. So I faced Luis and Team J bro in this in this stream today. That's wild. That is wild. Oh, this hand is terrible. This is not. This is good. One, two, buckle my shoe. <laughs> Who says that? All right. Well, oh, what up, my dear? Um, hello. <laughs> Why is she like this? Why are you like this, my dear? Do we want to turn one to rest? Probably. Show me what you've got. You don't have shoes on, especially not ones with... She's right. I don't have any shoes on. I'm surprised you lived with student instead of mother. That's interesting to me. Are they just, is he just ramping this? Now you get your mother out. Get your mother out. Green, green, green. On top of you and get another green. You think it's Jogglehops this time? It's a Tri-Belder. Hmm, fascinating. Well, that's good. That's a good card. That's less less good. It's going to black and a red here, I guess. Put the black into play. Play our Verdant. You guys ready for Jockalops? <laughs> sure. Yes. Oh, it's a Gary. Gary! This is fascinating. I'm fascinated. I get another swamp if we have it. I think we don't have it. Just kidding. So let's go block here, 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 and here. Hmm. I think we're dead. Yeah, so maybe not dead, but not great. Oh, a triome. Well, we're not drawing that, so that's nice.
Well, he's just going ham on the face. Minskin, Minskin, face and face. This is actually better than I expected. If we top deck Jogalops, it's gonna be a bloodbath. Destroy an artifact, sure. I don't think I have any. <laughs> Sometimes I literally get, I'm like, I don't know if I have that. Jogalops, Jogalops, Jogalops. Hops, 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 hops. Uh, no. Okay, but we have several draws here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oof. No hops. But we have one more chance. Thrag Tusk. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Twelve now. Three blockers. Pretty sure I'm pretty sure he could have won there, but I mean I think if you pump this to seven with three more. Oh no, I could still block it, I guess. Never mind. Also, if you guys want to support the channel, feel free to follow or subscribe on Twitch, or if you're watching on YouTube on YouTube as well. Or go over to Twitch. Or check out HelloFresh. With 21 free meals, free shipping. It's about $5 a meal. It's a really good deal. And they have delicious things. And this is what we picked up. We picked up the Shiro's Pan Monterey Jack unfried chicken, sweet corn and green pepper chowder, and Tuscan chicken and kale spaghetti, which all look really good. So now we have to just figure out if we're dead. So five to five. Four to two. Two to here. Yeah, we're just going to concede. They have a lot of creatures. Okay. So, of course, J-Bro is who we lose to in the finals. Why wouldn't it be? Plow Under seems terrible. Bring in the Beast. Does Knight of Autumn have any hits? Not really, but the four life might be fine. Lucranos? That actually seems like a big guy. Kills little guys. He's a murderer. Duress is probably rough. I don't love Fiend. I mean, you can take like a hero, but they have like such an abundance that you're going to be forced to block with it eventually. <clears throat> I almost think Knight of Autumn is just fine. Take this out, put a Savannah in, take one more, put Plains in. 
Nope, don't add. Yep, all right. Cool. <laughs> this is how it's going to go. Yeah, this is fine. It's not great, but fine. I mean, it's one of these three that we're shipping back. Or maybe it's actually just a land. We can go this into this into this, but that doesn't let us play Questing Beast. Let's get rid of the Signet. This lets us go to five. And this gets us the colors of the Signet. The Signet's just an artifact that they can kill with, like, Lauren. Is that better? It's at least the same right now for Questing Beast, unless we draw like Thrag Tusk, right? But now we can just get Forest with Kodama's Reach. I will not block you. Acidic Slime. <laughs> that's, that's funny. One, two, three, four. This guy blocks Student of War Farewell. And now he doesn't. That's sad. This does not seem like an easy choice. Or a difficult choice, rather. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you figured it out, Jonathan. Man. Forest, forest, play a forest. Done, play a forest. Yeah, that's fine. Awkward. Unless there's a forest underneath there. That's then, then we're talking. Okie dokie. I guess I won't block. Hmm. Fascinating. So I go to four. I don't kill Elspeth. And then I take a million next turn. <sighs> yeah, always a pleasure. I was really hoping to do 3-0 with the Jocalops, but I guess that was too much to ask. <laughs> Unfortunately, have to get paired against Team j in the finals, who doesn't know how to lose. Snake Slime doesn't do anything, right? It doesn't kill Elspeth. We can play Liliana. Doesn't kill either one of these guys. Even one of them getting flying kills us. Yep, that's that's it. All right. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Thank you for the support. Be sure to subscribe or follow on Twitch or on YouTube or on HelloFresh. Right above you. It's really good. Really appreciate it. It's a great way to support the channel. It's a great way to get some, some cheap, uh, inexpensive meals that are very high quality. Uh, and I get a great kickback from it. So if you really want to support the channel, it's a great way to do it and actually get something out of it. So please, please consider subscribing. You can use my promo code. You get 21 free meals along with free shipping uh, over your first eight boxes that you order. Um, we ended up paying about $5 a meal for six meals. So it was a pretty good deal. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Love you guys.